What's up, Ravens? Welcome to ONW Now. I'm Bryce Lunger and alongside Riley Kramer. Today we have stories on two fundraisers, Trunk or Treat, Mole Day, and Game Day Northwest. Let's get this thing started. Over the summer, the tragic death of Deputy Brandon Collins hit close to students at Olathe Northwest. Alyssa Clinton has a story on how some students decided to help Collins' family. On September 11, 2016, Master Deputy Brandon Collins was killed in the line of duty. Olathe Northwest ceramics and culinary classes teamed up to help raise money for the Brandon Collins Memorial Fund. Every year we do a fundraiser during conferences, traditionally. Um, it's always been large ceramic bowls, but this year we decided to change it up with the cups. I had two students, one approached me with a flyer about the fundraiser, and then after talking with her, um, you know, I got interested in it. And then Taylor started talking to me about how she babysits their kids, and then I just, I, I don't know, I just kind of fell for it right there. We're making drink mixes that are autumn themed. Drink mixes including pumpkin spice lattes, hot chocolate, and chai tea lattes. This fundraiser has impacted everyone involved in a great way. To me, it means that I get to help out somebody who helped out the whole community and made it a better place, and it's just really special to be able to do that. You know, if I can give back in some way, I think that's, that's you know, a nice way to, for me to give back. As a result, they raised around $1,400 for the Brandon Collins Memorial Fund. If you're interested in buying any cups, please contact Mr. Barnes. For ONW Now, this has been Alyssa Clinton. Now back to the desk. If you want to contribute directly to the fund, email Mr. Barnes. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in teens. Two Olathe Northwest students recently held the second annual suicide prevention golf tournament. Libby Bandy and Victoria Scarduzio captured this event. Two Fridays ago, on October 14th, the Falcon Ridge Golf Course hosted a charity golf tournament to raise awareness for suicide prevention and to honor the lives of Katie Hausch and Sierra Webb, who ONW lost two years ago. We have first-hand knowledge after losing Sierra to suicide, and um, for us to be able to come out here and, and see all the people that are out here to remember her and uh, be a part of this is uh, something that's real special to us. Two ONW students, Cameron Jones and Alexandria Wilson, reached out to Sierra and Katie's families to make this all possible. I met with uh, Alexandria and Cameron last year, and they wanted uh, our permission to put this on for Sierra and Katie, and um, we were 100% behind it, thought it was the neatest thing, and we stayed in contact with them, and it's just it's unreal the amount of people that have come together for this event, how hard they've worked to get it all done for us. For ONW Now, this has been Libby Bandy and Victoria Scarduzio. Now back to the desk. If anyone you know has had suicidal thoughts or actions, please reach out to one of the many resources offered, including the school psychologists and school counselors here at ONW. A mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Last week's chemistry teacher showed students what mole day is all about. Let's send it to Adam Cook for more details. <laughs> ONW held its annual mole day last Thursday in the Flex Theater. Mole Day consists of many fun activities for the chemistry students at Northwest. Mole Day is a reason for chemistry teachers to uh, blow things up, teach very small amounts of content, and blow things up. The day began with fun demonstrations of chemistry in real life. Examples included creating chemical sludge, fun with dry ice, and many more entertaining demonstrations. Uh, this is Mr. McLeod's favorite too, so hear him off a little bit. Learning chemistry along the way. Calcium carbide water makes acetylene to triple bondage carbon to two hydrogen C2H2. The activities got more and more interesting. <laughs> eventually ending in a show of explosions to the tune of the classic 1812 Overture. So 
so you all just came in here and decided to blow stuff up. Yeah, that's what mole day is. Yeah, I'm telling you, it gives us the green light. At the end of the show, students ate many different student-created, mole-related treats to cap off the day. There was a competition for best-looking mole-related food. Sophomore Leah Wellman took home the grand prize with her mole cake. For OW Now, this has been Adam Cook. Now back to the desk. Now let's take it to Game Day Northwest for a recap of last week's sports. Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Victoria Scordizio. This week's sports consist of soccer, football, volleyball, gymnastics, and cross country. Last night, the Ravens soccer team competed against Blue Valley High School. Let's take it to Matt Vanderslice and Zach Clay for the story. Last night, the Ravens took on the Tigers of Blue Valley to begin the regional tournament. After a goal by Chase Kluzman to open up the game, senior Connor Joker scored off a great pass from White Fowler just eight minutes into the first half giving the Ravens a 2-0 lead. Jokers was able to get on the board again off a cross from Grant Gertz in 23 minutes into the first half, extending the lead to 3-0. A goal by Wyatt Fowler gave the Ravens a 4-0 lead going into the halftime. The Ravens came out strong in the second half, with Evan Kalapik scoring a goal in the 45th minute, increasing the score to 5-0. The Ravens were able to hold off the Tigers, finishing out the game with the 5-0 score. We were able to catch up with senior Jack Cashman about how it felt to make it past the first round of regionals. You know, it felt pretty good. I mean, it was a game we needed to win to get some confidence. We just got to take it one game at a time and look forward to getting that state qualification. The Ravens will play again tomorrow night against the Shawnee Mission West Vikings. For Matt Vanderslice, this has been Zach Clay. Now back to the desk. Last Friday, the Ravens football team competed against Shawnee Mission South. Cooper Kate and Will Vestal have the story. Senior night took place at Olathe Northwest this past week as the Ravens took on the Shawnee Mission South Raiders. The Ravens played astounding throughout the game, leading to a blowout win on Northwest's favor. The defense led this game, which caused Shawnee Mission South to go scoreless throughout the duel. Junior Joe Hatsfield led the team with two touchdowns. Easton Krupper had a nice performance, including a touchdown pass to Matt Vanderslice that added another seven to the board. The Ravens destroyed the Raiders, the final score being 34-0. The Ravens will play in their third playoff game ever against Gardner this Friday, so be sure to come out and support your Ravens. This has been Cooper Kate and Will Vestal. Now back to the desk. Great job on the win, Ravens. Make sure to come out and support the boys this Friday as they compete against Gardner Edgerton in their third playoffs. The girls volleyball team took on Shawnee Mission North and Olathe South, competing for their fourth sub-state title in a row. Catherine Farewell has the recap. The Latham Northwest volleyball team took the court on Saturday, October 22nd, looking to become sub-state champions for the fourth year in a row. The Ravens, the second-ranked team in the state, took on the Shawnee Mission North Indians. The Ravens annihilated the Indians, winning the first set 25-6 and the second set 25-11. The volleyball team then got a break. They then took on Olathe South. South was coming off a hot win against Gardner Edgerton. That didn't matter to the Ravens. The Ravens went on a falcon hunt, winning the first set 25 to 15 and the second set 25 to 13. The Latham Northwest Raven volleyball team are now sub-state champions for the fourth year in a row. For Game Day Northwest, this is Catherine Farewell. The girls volleyball team will travel to Topeka this Friday to take on Wichita Northwest at 8:30, Manhattan at 10:30, and Garden City at 1:30. Come support the girls this Friday as they try to win the state champions. Last Saturday, the Ravens gymnastics team took on state at Shawnee Mission South. Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas have the recap. This Saturday, the Raven gymnastics team took the floor one more time at state held at Shawnee Mission South. The girls had to place in the top five at their previous meet in order to compete. Maddie Fentiman competed on vault, bars, and beam. Haley Warden on bars, and Brooke Illum competed all around. Placing third on bars and tenth on beam, Brooke earned an 8.6 on both events. She also received a remarkable 8-8 on floor, taking her to 12th place. Haley Warden, a sophomore, secured 18th place on bars with a 7.875. Junior Maddie Fentiman scored an 8.35 on vault and a 7.6 on bars. Congrats on a great season, Ravens. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas. Now, back to the desk. 
Congrats on a great season, ladies. Last Saturday, the cross-country team went to Johnson County Community College to compete in regionals. Ben Whitney has the story. The Ravens boys and girls cross-country teams traveled to Johnson County Community College last Saturday for regionals. The Raven girls placed third at the meet, qualifying them for state competition, and Trey Seba placed seventh individually, qualifying him for state as well. The state competitors will face off this Saturday at 9 a.m. at Rimrock Farm in Lawrence. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Ben Whitney. Now, back to you guys. Great job at regionals. The girls team placed third overall with Trey Seba placing seventh and will compete at Rimrock Farm for state this Saturday. Come out at 9 o'clock to support your Ravens. That's it for this week, Ravens. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Victoria Scarduzio. Now back to the desk. To end this week's show, let's send it to Libby Bandy and Victoria Scarduzio for a wrap-up of Trunk or Treat. <laughs> Olathe Northwest held their annual Trunk and Treat last Sunday. Trunk and Treat is a version of trick-or-treating, but instead of going door-to-door -door to collect candy, they go from trunk to trunk. Many different clubs throughout Olathe Northwest participated and we were able to raise $304 for Special Olympics and 225 canned goods for Olathe Food Pantry. For ONW Now, this has been Libby Bandy and Victoria Scarduzio. Now back to the desk. For Riley Kramer and the rest of the Convergence team, I'm Bryce Lunger and have a fantastic week, Ravens.